All right, I'm already stationed. And say I want to lay out lines. I'm in the application, and it says select a line, an arc, or circle for reference. So I'm going to go ahead and select a line. And now that I've selected that line, it's highlighted. There's an arrow, and there's also a start where the flag is. And it's given me in blue how far away I am to the line, and then from the start of that line in green. And as I move my prism, you can watch those numbers as I get closer to that line. And then again, I can go all the way back to the start of that line, just like that. So that's what those numbers are showing you on the right side of the screen. There are a few options. I'm going to go ahead and open up that tab on the right-hand side. And you can actually use points to create lines in this function. They're only temporary lines. They go away after you're out of the application. Uh, but you can use them uh, whenever you'd like. We're going to go ahead and just tap line. And now it says select two points for that line. So say I have points um, and I don't have a line already created. I can, I can tap LP3 and maybe MP2. And now I have a temporary line that I can actually go. I'm going to push this back and actually go lay out that specific line in between two points. Let's see the other options. I can create an arc with three points. So I'll select LP3, LP1, and maybe LP4. And now I have an arc based off of those. Again, same thing. I can go lay out that specific arc using those three points. And then I could do an arc with two points in a radius. So I can just select two points here, and it's given me uh, that arc based off those two points and a radius. Uh, the other things we can do here are, let's go ahead and select that line again. And then we also can shift these lines based off of the line we selected. So say, let's just do an offset. Say if I have a, let's imagine this is a grid line and I need to do a two foot offset. I don't want to create any lines. I just want to see the offset. I'm going to click on offset and put in two foot, press enter. And now that line is two foot away from the one that I highlighted. So now I can easily check or verify or lay out based off of that original line that I touched. Um, I'm going to go ahead and now get this out of our way. We still have the two foot offset just to show the example. I'm going to click the line that's in between MP1 and MP2. And we'll watch. It'll still have that two foot offset. Notice how it's pushed over to the left. I believe I can hit it one more time and it'll go on the right now. So you can actually flip this two foot offset no matter of how many times you press that same line over again. The other thing you can do is again, you can extend the line. You can actually raise the height of that line. And then let's go ahead and bring this back to zero. That's, and then we could also set a rotation on this line. So say if you wanted to make a 90 degree angle on this line, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna hit the rotation option and we'll put in maybe 90 degrees and press enter. And now again, at the start of that line, we have a 90 degree uh, rotation. Uh, we can now select that line again, and it is flipped to the other side. Um, so there, again, there's a lot of functions that you can play with when it comes to uh, line layout or laying out a line. Uh, but the easiest again is just tapping any specific line and it will show you exactly where to go with the prism.